I want to talk about, you know, being authentic to yourself. I mean, honestly, when you're authentic to yourself, it doesn't matter what anybody says about you because you're going with the waves. I know with me and my short ass hair, sometimes people will be like, well, Jamie, you know, you look like a dyke today. And I'm like, <laughs> like, cool. Sipping on that codeine, not brandy. I'm just starting on my ex punch. I was just flexing on my ex bitch. Hold up. I'm just starting on my ex bitch. Huh. I'm just flexing on my ex bitch. Truck a wedding ring, I bought a necklace. Diamonds got the flu, try not to catch this. I left that hoe alone cause she was ratchet. All these bitches salty, they can't stand. Flexing on that bitch. Hold up. Flexing on that bitch. Bought a necklace on that bitch. Hold up. Why would I get angry and be like, oh, now I'm going to feel bad about myself because I look like a dyke. No, I'm going to embrace it and I'm going to smile and I'm going to have a great day. And I don't care if I look like a dyke on Monday, if I look like a bad bitch on Tuesday, if I look like a boy on Thursday. I mean, honestly, because I'm happy. So it really doesn't, you know, I do my makeup and everything because it's something I like to do. I take care of my skin because it's, I take care of my skin because it's something that I like to do, you know? I'm not doing it because I'm trying to impress nobody. Shit, I'm trying to impress myself. I'm trying to look in the mirror and be like, oh, to myself, you know what I'm saying? So it just, you know, it's all about, you know, being you. And, I, and I'm not gonna sit up here and I'm not gonna act like that's easy. And I'm not gonna act like this is something you just obtain and you know being happy is just this easy thing because in our day it's not there's so much pressure to be this there's so much pressure to do this do that da, 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 da. like i get it like i was there but luckily i was able to just find myself and i was able to figure out and you know i still am because i'm so young and i'm still learning and i'm still figuring shit out but where I am right now, I would say is as true to who I am in my life right now. And I'm as happy as I possibly can be in my life right now. And that's really all that I can ask for. And I'm so blessed for that. I think it's important that you understand what love versus lust or liking is. You know, love is unconditional. Love is always constant love is unconditional and require sacrifice and if you're not you know really sacrificing for somebody then I don't you don't really you know love them and that's hard to accept because we think we love a lot of people but we really don't you know, we're in lust with people, we like people, but, you know, if he's gone and it's not affecting you dramatically, then, you know, you didn't love him. And maybe that's a good thing. You know, it's not always bad to not be in love. Like, it's that I don't think that's a bad thing. And I think it's a priority. Oh, you gotta love who you with. Like, no, that's something that should come naturally. That should not be forced. And so, you know, and then people get caught up thinking they're in love and they're really not, you know, but I get vibes from people. I feel people. And, you know, I had this one, I don't know if you could call them a friend, you know, they have a place in my heart because I simply just feel for them. And, you know, I don't really know if they consider me a friend at all, but um, I feel sad. I feel sad confusion anger pain from this person when i'm around them and you know i didn't really this was just another reason why i knew i'm like this is weird jamie because you feel like vibes from people i knew this and i was saying i'm like you know i'm getting this vibe i'm getting this crazy ass vibe from you like you seemed like angry like it was almost painful to be around you like i felt like i just wanted to hug you i just wanted to i don't know help you and it wasn't even on no lovey-dovey nothing like i feel you need something you need someone you need a hug you 
need to talk to somebody. With all that being said, you know, I reached out and I said what I need to say. And really that just leads me into my next topic, which is you can only do so much. You know, I think when I reached out and there was no response, there's nothing I can do from there because I'm not going to chase you down to help you. You know, I, yes, I'm going to check in every, every once in a while I'm going to check in. I'm going to say, oh, I hope you're good. You know, I hope you're doing good. I hope, you know, I'm here if you need me, but I'm not going to be down your throat. I'm not going to be, you know, forcing myself into your business because you didn't want it. You obviously didn't want it. Cran mango is honestly the best juice. If you don't fuck with cran mango, then you are missing out on a piece of your life, my friend. You know, people are wondering why I'm always coming after people on Twitter. And I really don't think I'm always coming after people on Twitter. I'm just passionate. But I'm going to stop because it's really... These lame individuals don't deserve any of your time they really don't i shouldn't be tweeting shit like that and i shouldn't be you know killing somebody's life over you know their stupidity because i'm not gonna make them smart so uh, they can just you know continue in their ignorance honestly you know really i'd rather be talking about music than at any party I'd rather be, you know, plotting on how to make millions than getting into some house party for free. Like, are you freaking serious? I'm gonna just stand up and watch everybody twerk. You know, that's not fun to me anymore. It's just, if we as a generation spent the same amount of time that we spent talking shit, on our careers and our goals and our lives shit i'd be a goddamn millionaire but complaining you're complaining but you're not doing anything you're talking but there's no action that's all that is right there so you better get your ass straight before karma comes and hits your ass like a motherfucking bus Get it right, get it tight, people. Get it right, get it tight. Waiting for the light to shine. Now, my next video is like gonna be straight comedy, so please be prepared. I've already recorded it, so you don't have to worry about it being <laughs> a little late, but you know, blackish is on, so I gotta fucking go. But so, I'm also doing with this, I'm also doing my favorite facial products mask shit like that that i use on my face because i've been getting like a lot of questions and shit so stay tuned or don't stay tuned click the next video but i fuck with everybody thanks again i just y'all ain't know i could sing y'all ain't know that so every some people are sitting there like oh shit she can kind of she can kind of hold a little tune you know i ain't no singer but you know i can hold a little tune you, you know what i'm saying